let's start this over. Get you situated right. Okay. The first game we're going to look at today, uh, based on the Hello Neighbor series of digital gaming, is the Secret Neighbor Party Game, uh, designed by Ariel Rubin and Juliana Patel. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, so this was released by Arcane Wonders. And of course, uh, it also says Tiny Build. And it does say you can find out more information uh, Facebook or Twitter. Arcane Wonders. And Arcane Wonders has released several other great games. I'll be sure to be stopping by their book while at Gen Con soon as well. Because I believe they will have several games I want to play, check out, and possibly pick up for myself while there. So let's get into it. Hello Neighbor, the Secret Neighbor Party Game. Right on the top we got our rule book, uh, where you should find it, right on top, because that's the first thing you want to check out. Uh, it looks like there's also a quick start guide. Okay, so let's check the rule book real quick and see how good the details are. Okay, first glance, nice, vibrant, easy to read, with a contrasting background to text, which is always nice. Talks about components straight up, which you should be finding, and what a lot of these uh, components represent already. Then we jump into the setup, depending on the number of players, uh, and then it tells you how to set up the different decks for the identities and the items, which is helpful when you're playing a secret identity game. Here we got our gameplay, starting the game, phases of the game, uh, powers, uh, the unlock vote, which we'll have to figure out what that is when we actually play the game. Of course, we're just unboxing right now, so we're not going to get all the details. And it talks about the different cards. Uh, it looks like you got some optional rules. And then some kind of uh, just basically special thanks who helped playtest it produced by just kind of basically all the credits for the game. Okay, and then quick start guide. Like it's a fold out, so it's a bit bigger, faster, and easier to read. Set on the table, everyone can help set up at the same time. So it's a quick start guide, follow these steps to jump into the action, start playing right away. Always very helpful when they do something like that, especially in games geared for families with kids. Um, you don't want to sit there too long, one person reading small text in a book. So this is very helpful, has all the information you need. Don't touch what's in there. Ooh. I'll reveal what's in that a little bit. Okay. So we got promo card stuff. Hopefully that didn't show the code well. It may not matter because I probably won't use it. I could probably just reveal it and whoever sees it first wants to go use it could do it. But it does come with uh, download codes for different stuff in there. Right on top. Set those aside. And we got our deck of cards. In this box, we have a, a simple little insert that's actually printed. Make sure we keep it in view. Now this has like a little flap right here and hidden in there. Got some keys. Now I don't know if at one point, I believe Barnes and Noble copies of this game were slightly different than other copies. I can't remember which had the keys or which did not or if they were different at all. Uh, different material. These are three uh, plastic keys. Fairly simple. I'm not sure what they're used for. I can probably check the rule book to see if they're actually critical to the gameplay or is more something fun. It may just be that you're earning the keys and having a physical large component to be able to grab while you're playing is always a nice addition to a game. Now, of course, you all know I like to always check. There's a deck of cards, and it's saran wrapped or 
plastic wrapped, however you want to call it. Does it have a quick release string on? At first glance, you see this gold strip that indicates it should. So we're going to find that strip real quick. And we'll rip it open. Take a closer look right here. Yep. A lot of times you'll find it along the side edge. If I can actually grab it. There we go. So you can see it right here. And as you do that, it's going to pull part of the wrapping off, making it a lot easier to open. Of course, I'm going to create some uh, piles of trash on the floor for things I need to throw away later. So let's see what the different types of cards are. We've got roll cards. Uh, talks about objects the actual object cards. So let's go switch the view so we can look at these in more detail. So I'm gonna go over, let's look at these roll cards first. I don't like how it's, my lighting's giving me issues today. So roll cards, you got a kid, and then the top corner is gonna tell you for the number of players uh, that card can be used for. So we've got a five plus, Got another kid. Even more kids. Let's see if I got how much room I got to show off all this stuff. Okay, so we got eight kids in total. Now, to make it easy and fast to sort, so you know how many you need for player counts, it just straight up says five plus, five plus, five, six, seven, nine, ten. So then you immediately know, okay, I'm, I, we have this many players, we're gonna need these cards. And then we have another five plus, so apparently those five plus ones are always in play because this is a five to 10 player game. So you know those five plus cards are always being used. Then it's like, oh, I have six players, add another kid. I have seven players, add another kid. I have eight players, we're gonna have two neighbors. It's, and then, Five plus, no matter what, you always have the secret neighbor. So, again, I don't know a huge amount about the theme being that I've not played the actual uh, computer game, digital game, but essentially there's a secret neighbor, you got regular neighbors, and you got kids. And I believe, in a, in a sense, the neighbors are, or the kids are trying to avoid the neighbors in some way. Beyond that, I don't know much about the rules until I read them. And of course, having a box like this insert is nice. Throw the cards right in them. So these are double-sided object cards, basically that talk about the objects. It does appear that both sides are exactly the same. But it's nice that they did this double-sided instead of a singular side and having nothing on the back side. And uh, there is enough for every player, so every player can see their, have their own card, can read it, and not have to necessarily ask the question to another player. Be like, hey, what does this card do? Because then it gives away the, the cards in your hand. So this is a good way to do it, especially when it's you can add this, like, ten cards, and everyone gets it, and it enhances the game that much. It's like, why would you not have something like this in the game. Very well done. Good choice. Okay, now we have the actual object cards. Back is nice, vibrant, simple, uh, kind of in the, the theme of since we have kids, it's going to look kind of like kids' objects in some way. So let's take a look at the different objects. So since these are not shuffled yet, this will be easy to go through them all. We have the levers. We have boxes, we have magnets, trash cans, and flashlights. Now I can fit these on the screen a little bit better than that. And it does appear that every single one of these cards also has the player count number on it. So you can easily shift through and be like, okay, we got this many players sort them out you don't have to look in the book in the rule book be like okay how many of each of these cards do we need now now we gotta count them out sort them and whatnot it's like okay just sort through real quick five players anything 
above take out whatever it may take but that's a lot faster a lot simpler uh you kind of wish more games did it in this way but it makes sense being that that's family friendly so the lever cards uh so it says you must have three of these to use the following power not so fast steal a power with three sec uh within three seconds of that power being announced by another player interesting ability boxes you must have three to use take a peek uh, you choose three players leader shuffles their three roll cards face down while you view them there are less than three roll cards left move a key from one player to another not yourselves i would have to look in the, uh, the rules and see if that actually uh, potentially changes someone's role uh, magnets uh, again you need three of them to use it find a key take a key that hasn't been claimed yet if all keys have been claimed you steal a key okay so there is of course secret identity there's going to be a sense of take that um, of targeting certain opponents of course this magnet uh, amplifies that that you can actually steal something from someone as well flashlights uh, again need three I'll take this, look at the another player's object card and steal one. Yep, there's more take that ability right there. Trash can, you need three, bye bye, force another player to disc discard their entire hand. So, not a huge amount about uh, how the overall game plays with these cards, um, but it is nice that these cards explicitly state what they do on them, and on top of that, these reference cards told you the same thing so then you you never have to be like okay i need the rule book i need that card to actually know you have you have reference cards the card itself says it so there's a lot of helpful information expect to really help kids out families play this game which seems really nice the artwork relatively straightforward and simple uh, it doesn't have to be over the top it does remind you of the digital uh, game in that it feels like it's really very close to a digital style of artwork that you'd see in the game i would assume it's very close if not uh, the same art style of the digital game again i have not played the digital or seen it so i cannot comment on that beyond but yeah that's what this game is there's stacks of these again like we said they t uh, they have the player count on them just pretty simple straightforward so the cards for a secret identity game that's made for families and kids to be able to enjoy as well.